today we're going to be doing an interview. So let's start. Cool. <laughs> we haven't did one so, in so long. Well, you're right. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Hello, Mark. I'm Kennedy. Nice you want to tell everybody who you are and what we're doing today? Yeah, my name is Mark Rizzo. Uh, I play guitar. I'm here today at uh, the Diamond Headquarters uh, store, guitar store, amplifier shop, and I'm going to be performing doing a, uh, a clinic. When did you first pick up a guitar? When did you know that playing music is what you wanted to do? I was eight years old, so probably about your age, right? How old are you again? Seven? Seven. All right, so I was, I was one year older. I was eight years old, and it was in 1986. I started playing guitar, so it was a long time ago. And what made me want to play guitar was two things, Led Zeppelin, Jimmy Page, and there was the movie, you ever see Back to the Future? No. So that's an old movie, very old movie with Michael J. Fox. And there's a scene where he plays guitar in the movie. And I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. So after seeing that movie and seeing him shred on the guitar, I was like, I want to do that. So then shortly after seeing that, my mother bought me a little acoustic guitar. And I started taking guitar lessons and been doing it every day since. You know? Born in the 70s, growing up in the 80s, what was your personal music likes as a teenager back then? Um, I was really into a lot of classic rock, like Led Zeppelin and Deep Purple and a lot of stuff that was going on in the 70s. Um, so I was really into that first, and then I got into all the, the 80s heavy metal bands, you know, like a lot of thrash metal, like Slayer, and Overkill, and then Metallica. Um, so everything that was going on during that era, you know, a lot of the thrash metal, and a lot of all types of metal, and hardcore music, and punk rock, and 70s rock, too. So all the good guitar-style bands. In the 1998, you were about 20 years old. What was it like being a founding member of the band Al Nino back then? It was cool. That was my first band. I got a record deal. And we were playing around my area uh, in New York and New Jersey and playing all the clubs around there. And it happened so quick. I was working like construction, had a real job, and I went from doing that and then at night playing concerts with El Nino around New York City, New Jersey, and then all of a sudden we got a record deal and I hit the road. And it was crazy because ironically my first tour was opening up for Soulfly and now I'm in Soulfly. So it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Dream come true. Five years later, you joined the band Soulfly. What has the last 17 years been like since joining the band? Wow, 17 years. I feel like this interview is making me feel so old, you know? <laughs> All these numbers. <laughs> um, yeah, 17 years I've been in Soulfly. Can you believe that? I've been in Soulfly longer than, than you've been alive. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. <laughs> Long time. Yeah, it's been amazing. It's been a dream come true. And it flew by these last 17 years, I think, because I've been having so much fun touring. Flew. Literally flew, because we fly all over the world, and I don't like to fly, I don't like airplanes. And um, I think it flew by so fast, because we were always on the road traveling all over the world, you know. It's been fun. What is your greatest... Accomplishment. Accomplishment in music you have ever achieved. Achieved. Do you like touring? <laughs> Back up the question you just asked. Okay, my biggest accomplishment, I would say now, what I'm really proud of is kind of like what I'm doing today, where now uh, I feel like I reached a point now in my career where I go out and I can do these shows where I just play by myself to like a backing track, right? And I can travel around the world at my leisure and, and go 
go see things and then play my shows by myself and to have the fans enjoy that, you know, and, and being able to, to travel on my own and do my own project at, at like like today, like doing clinics and stuff. That's something I'm really it feels real good to do it. Yeah. What? Wait. Do you like touring, like being on the road? Do you ever miss just being home? Yes, I do miss being home, but I also love touring. You know, I, I think it's, it's, it's good to find a good balance of being home for a little bit and then going on the road for a little bit, you know? So, um, like right now, what I'm doing is I just, when I'm home from tour, from Soulfly, then I do my solo project. And I just do shows on the weekends, like right now. Like I flew into here to Indiana and played a show last night, and then today I'm playing here, and then tomorrow I'm playing another show, and then I'll fly home, and then that way I'm home during the week, and on the weekends I, I go rock out. And uh, it's a good balance between being home and, and being on the road. What's the largest crowd you ever played for and where was that at? Uh, the biggest show ever, one of my favorite countries is uh, Colombia. We did a festival called Rock El Park in Bogota, Colombia, and it was like 150,000 people, I think. And it was a huge concert, and um, I hope we do it again soon because I had a great time, and, and I go to Colombia a lot because I love it there. It's a lot of fun. It's a real, real beautiful country. Good food. If you are not on tour, what do you like to do? What are your hobbies? Good question. Well, music takes up a lot of my time, but then other than that, I, li I like to exercise a lot. I like going to the gym. I like to stay healthy, try to eat healthy, and, and work out a lot in different uh, sports, you know. I love all different types of sports. My friend Trampus wants to know what it's like to play on stage with Max as he is one of his idols. idols. It's amazing. It's a dream come true, you know, because when I was a, a young kid, I was a huge fan of, of Max's band, Sepultura, and um, I grew up playing those songs. And, it was one of my favorite bands, and, and to have the opportunity then to, to be in a band with Max, you know, is incredible. It's, it's really a dream come true to be able to play with someone you grew up idolizing. So I'm lucky, yeah. Well, I Clinics. Do your clin wait, doing your clinics, have you ever met somebody and thought, wow, they are pretty good. I need to keep my eye on them. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of young kids that play guitar that, that are incredible musicians and are young, especially nowadays. A lot of these young kids like your age are incredible players. You know, so there's there's a lot. Usually I, I meet a lot of really talented kids and I like to keep in touch, you know, and, and, and see what they what they do in the future when they get older. What do you see for your future plans? Anything you can share or want to tell us? I want to go to Disneyland real soon. You too, I bet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been to Disney? Oh, let me tell you something. That place is magical. Yeah, we sometimes we go to Disneyland and play concerts uh, on the, at the House of Blues in Orlando or the House of Blues in... Uh, uh, Los Angeles, yeah, at that Disney World, and it's incredible. So, yeah, any chance I get, I like to go to Disney World. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta go. It's incredible. Someday. Yeah. I bet all my um, like people in school, well, everyone that watches my channel is gonna be like, they're just like, he's just like me. <laughs> yep. I like Disney. <laughs> Mark, where are the greatest fans at? What crowd r really gets the band pumped up? Back to South America. I love going there. The fans are incredible there. They're, they're so hungry for music. 
and uh, they, they, they show the most appreciation and the, the concerts are just crazy and wild all over South America, Colombia, Brazil, Argentina, Chile, all South America is incredible. I love it there. Do you, wait, yeah, do you have any? Pre. Pre show. Rituals. Rituals are doing, doing? Or doings. Or doings. Or doings. Yes. Oh, yeah. That you do before playing a show? Yes. I like to work out before. <laughs> And um, coffee. I'm a big coffee drinker, so I um, I definitely try to drink a lot of coffee before I go on stage, and that gets me all pumped up to, to play. You know, <laughs> it's not for you, right? But maybe when you get older, you'll you'll enjoy coffee. You know, not now though, because it'll keep you up. You won't sleep. You know. <laughs> okay, I'll drink that. Okay, I'll stay up all night. Making my dad telling me to go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. <laughs> right? <laughs> question over? Yeah, cool. Can I do this question? Yeah. Thank you for your time and this... Opportunity. Much love. Hugs. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for the interview, too. It was great. Great question. Bye! Bye. <laughs>